Hey everybody, it's Juanita from Emotion, and I'm about to do an advanced tutorial for my Facebook business users. I call this one New Facebook Design. Oh my. So let's take a quick look and see what's going on here. Let's start with the account button because before we had managed pages, and now Facebook has made a change here, and I really consider this a rather profound change because what they're going to allow you to do now is choose to use your Facebook fan page or like page as opposed to your profile. You're going to be able to switch in and out. So now if you select this option, you're choosing to move around and comment as your Facebook page, not your personal profile as before. Now in class we'll talk about why you might want to do this, but for now you need to know it's your choice. And the good news is you can switch back, so it's no big deal. So let's set this up so you can see how it works. I'll go ahead and give that a click. And I'm going to choose Emotion. I'll click on Switch. So now, as you can see, I am now using Facebook as In Motion Real Estate Institute. Look how it looks when I do that. It says you can get notifications about activity on your page, see stories from the pages you like in your newsfeed, and interact with other pages as your page. I'm going to delay the tour. I'm going to close this. And now what I need to make sure you understand is that every time I comment or make any kind of interaction on Facebook, I'm not doing it as Juanita McDowell. I am doing it as In Motion Real Estate Institute. The next change I want to make you aware of is basically the Facebook page default wall. Now I have to tell you I want to bring this to your attention because there were some changes that kind of caught me off guard. Let's talk about them. I want to click on edit page you can see the interface is rather new and a lot of people I want to say you have probably already updated uh, to the new Facebook page if you have not this may not look the exact same so I want to make sure I'm clear on the people that have upgraded to the new page I think everyone's gonna to have to go here in March but assuming that you have already upgraded this is for you so if you haven't yet save this tutorial what you want to do is click edit page and when you click edit page what I want you to do is let's start with your settings because that's probably where a change has occurred I want to make sure you're aware of by default this is checked always comment and post on your page as your business name even when using Facebook as Juanita McDowell so if you don't want that option which I prefer not to have it uncheck that box and then click save changes of course you in my case I want notifications when someone posts or comment on the page the next change I want to make you aware of is under manage permissions so let's go ahead and give that a click the wall tab shows this is something that by default is something that you need to be aware of everyone now it's fine to allow everyone to post on your Facebook wall don't get me wrong but I want to encourage you if you leave this by default to everyone to be vigilant in monitoring your wall if you do allow this. Now under this same tab you'll see that you get to change the default landing tab which is kinda cool. You get to just click very very easy to decide where you want people to land when they come to your Facebook page. And then the last thing I want to bring to your attention on this particular page is now you have a profanity block list. So you can block profanity and other specific words right here. Okay, so those are your choices and you can save changes. Make it according to how you want it. And lastly, I want to make sure you know you can now change the Facebook page category. Now this is added and I think this is a very cool feature that we didn't have before you may have noticed that the categories that you set up is gone I know for all of my pages I don't have the original category that I selected so it's time to reset and Facebook now allows it so how do you do it go to basic information and here you can select the category that you feel you're best suited for so if you are a local business and place and in my case I am and I am education 
then I can make those changes right here where before that wasn't a change you can make after you already set up the page. So after you do all that, come down to the bottom, click on Save Changes. So many more things to discuss. Don't miss this class. We'll get you up to date without you spending hours and hours finding out what's hidden, what's changed. See you in class, and thanks for watching.